بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آل صحبة جمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته and welcome to the Prophet Ramadan online show Today we're going to reflect on another important battle that happened in the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam This is the conquest of Mecca It wasn't really a battle because no fighting really took place but it was a complete victory of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and 10,000 of his companions walking into Mecca When you think and reflect on this lesson, on this conquest of Mecca, or what happened in that place, realize few things. Number one, patience. The Prophet Muhammad and his companions were very patient. They were kicked out of Mecca about almost eight years ago where they were kicked out of Mecca. But they were patient for eight years and planned their return wisely. They didn't sort of give up. They didn't say, oh, we can never go back to Mecca, there's no hope, Mecca's gone, we, can, we won't go back. They planned their return wisely. Number two, pick your battles wisely. A couple of years before the conquest of Mecca, from Muhammad when he signed the Treaty of Hudaybiyyah, what he did was, he, he conceded few things. He let go of some things. Even the companions were upset. Why? Why are you saying? Why are you conceding these things? We should not be agreeing with these with these people who have attacked us and hurt us. Muhammad was careful, was, was wise. He said, "Let's let's concede here. There's no problem, because he knew that he'll come back again victorious. So pick your battles wisely. Don't just go in for a battle for every single action. Go pick your battles wisely." The third is mercy and forgiveness. Even after the conquest of Mecca, and after all what the Meccans have done at that time to Muhammad and his companions, he forgave them all. So even you have power, even you now you're in control, even now you think that now I can show you, I can show you revenge, showing mercy and forgiveness will always be better in the sight of Allah. These are some lessons for us to reflect. And in the areas of productivity, what I say to you is, Be patient with your productivity. Don't think they're going to wake one day, achieve what you want to achieve overnight. It takes time. Be patient. Pick your battles wisely. Don't think that you need to, you know, be, you know, go and attack every single time to achieve something. Maybe something you have to slow down. Maybe something you have to try something else before you achieve your goals. And number four, make sure that when you are in power, when you are successful, when you are in control, don't be proud of yourself, but be humble. Be ready to have mercy for those around you and to share your success with others around you. And that's how you truly live a productive Muslim lifestyle. Hope you enjoyed this show. This is Barak Ramadan online show. If you love these videos, press like, share, subscribe below or sign up to our mailing list and get these videos to your inbox daily.